Hello, welcome back. Something happened last night, no, the, the night before. And I didn't know until last night. I know that's confusing. I'll just say that I woke up yesterday morning with a headache and I took medicine for it and everything. And it was only on, I think my left side and it kind of went away and I spent my day reading on my Kindle and just doing little things around the house. And I go take a shower, let me back up. Something, I don't remember what I was doing, um, but before jumping the shower, I did something with my head. I don't know if I did this or if I did something else, I don't know. Um, but when I did something, <laughs> I touched this area of my head and it was very painful. It wasn't lightly painful. And I'm like, what in the world? And it was slightly swollen. I was rubbing both sides and comparing. And I'm like, what in the world? And I get in the shower and I, I love hot showers and it was touching that sore spot. And, and it was uncomfortable. That wasn't really painful. It was just uncomfortable. And I'm like, wow, you know, what in the world happened? And I, I'm washing my hair and just trying to be careful on that side. And when I get out, I forget all about it. Even though I took the towel and kind of went like this with my hair and it was uncomfortable, but I went to brush it and I kind of yelped. I was like, oh, <laughs> it really hurt. And I'm like, what in the heck? So I threw a thought out there to my star family, my guides. And I said, would you guys mind checking this out and see what that is? And kind of let it go after that, knowing that if it was something serious, they would take care of it because they're always fixing my body and, and I guess exploring. I, I don't, I don't know what you call it because I don't know exactly what they always do. So I go to bed and wake up and as you noticed I've been touching it and it's not sore at all it's not swollen it's not sore I could do this don't know what happened I will say that if I saw a bird fly up here I will say that if something is that sore that extreme it should be the next day if not slightly less sensitive. So apparently whatever it was, it was fixed. I noticed last night, um, I didn't see anything. I didn't wake up at all. Whatever they did, they did it with me asleep. They made me stay asleep and they're good at that. I also want to address something that kind of bothers me is I was talking to a friend and he's like, I would like you to meet so-and-so because they have similar things as you. They have a lot of visits. I'm like, that would be great because you can't talk to a lot of people about this kind of things. And so he started talking to her and he told her, he said he told her about the little spider creatures that stick around all night long on my ceiling. And that uh, she didn't like it. So she's keeping her distance. And I'm like, well, I know for a fact that there there are spider people, entities, whatever you want to call them, that are bad. And they're like huge, enormous. These, they're not like 100% spider looking. I say spider looking because of the legs. They kind of cross between a spider and a crab. And, and it's really hard to describe what it looks like because I've never seen it before and when I first see them they're all scrunched, scrunched up and then when they know I'm looking at them they puff out and they start scurrying away I don't feel that they're bad but it kind of bothers me that my whole life people have shunned me and saying I was odd my friends can't play with me because I'm I'm odd I'm different. People having a hard time coming around me. And I'm like, okay, I, I think the grays keep taking me and doing something. And my star family have to take me and remove it. And it's a battle. 
and I've been told this and I feel that this has been going on. So I'm like, okay, are these bad entities always around me and I'm thinking that they're good? I do know the good ones for sure are always around me. That is my star family, my guides. But are these bad entities following so they can do what they want with me knowing that I'm a star seed, I'm a hybrid star seed? Is that what everybody is feeling? I hope I'm making sense. I, I feel like I have bad and good that, that follow me. And the good protects me they're not allowing anything bad to happen, although little things happen. And I don't know how that happens. I don't know. I, I need to find a shaman or a psychic, a true psychic or shaman, and see what they could tell me. It, this is driving me batty. Once my YouTube starts taking off, I'm going to go find a shaman or a psychic because I'm really confused and if, if these are bad entities that are around me and the good and people are staying away because of that, I don't mind. It kind of bothers me, but I don't mind. I know I'm good and that's what's, I mean, no, but that's, that's what matters to me. And uh, I guess I, I just needed to verbally put that out there because it, it does bother me. I feel pretty tired today. I might make some coffee. So I'm getting ready for my daughter to come over and visit me. And then my other second born daughter is going to come and visit me. So I'm going to end this here. I love you guys. I hope you're doing well. And I'm sending you love light from my soul. I'm sending you love, light, and peace. Bye.